Hello Fox, in this video we will see how to solve this easy problem robot return to origin. So here we have a robot initially at the position 0 0 that is row 0 and column 0. And we are given some series of moves made by robot. That is uh, the allowed moves are up, down, right and left. So after this series of moves we need to find whether robot is still at position 0 0. So what we can do is, uh, let's say uh, robot is initially at position 0, 0, row 0, column 0. Now when we say it moved upwards, we can consider that as a, uh, a, a positive movement. Okay, that is, uh, let's say we are at row R. So when we encounter U or up, up move, we can say it moved one row above, that is R plus 1. And if it is down movement, we can say that, that is a negative movement. So we can subtract 1. That is if we were at uh, row R, we can say a down movement means R minus 1. That is we, we, are, we are stating that up and down are opposite to each other. If up is positive, then down is negative. Okay. So uh, when it makes some n number of up movements, it should make exactly n movement of down movements to be to return to the uh, same position right that is rho 0 similarly for left and right also we can we can state that uh, let left movement be positive and the other one negative that is when we encounter a left move move we can add one to the uh, column okay and if we encounter right move we can subtract one from the column so that, so uh, so ultimately uh, what we can state is the left and right are opposite to each other right if there if there were n left movements we need exactly n right moves as well in order for the in order to uh, get the robot at the column zero okay so after all, all the uh, iterations we can check whether row is zero and column is zero if that is true that means the, the robot at last after all the moves the robot is at zero zero itself right so let's code the solution uh, here we can say uh, we can use a, a, a for loop right to loop through all the moves for move in moves so here we'll we'll be getting all the moves from the in input input right input string uh, we will consider character by character and initially uh, we know that the uh, robot is at position 0 0 that is row is 0 and column is 0 okay so uh, let's look through all the characters so if it is if move equal to up if it is a up moving up movement we can uh, consider it to be positive okay and if it's a down movement we can consider it to be negative uh, we can also consider the other way like up movement as negative and down movement as positive like only thing we need to care about is that up and down moves are opposite to each other right so if move equal to up we can say uh, it moves one row above right so row plus equal to 1 elif uh, move equal to down if it is down then it moved one row below so row minus equal to 1 so uh, after all the, after looping through all the characters if number of up movements made by the robot is equal to number of down movements made by the robot if that uh, uh, are equal like if, if there are n, n number of up and n number of down movements then we can say it can cancels out cancel out right and uh, at last the row will be zero itself right that means vertically the robot finally reached the initial position zero itself now uh, for the column movements we can write the same condition so condition can be if lf move equal to equal to uh, left right then we can say call plus equal to 1 
So in this case, we are considering left movement as positive and right movement as negative. You can say call uh, minus equal to one. So that is it. So during the loop, we will check all the characters and and we'll uh, add and sub subtract accordingly, uh, depending on the move moves made. And at last, what we have to check is whether row is zero and column is zero. If that is true, then uh, we can return true. Right? The robot is at the the initial position zero zero itself. So we can return uh, the truth condition whether row is zero and column is zero. Right? So if that is true we can return its truth value okay so let's try running it yeah see you in the next video